Hello guys, in this tutorial we're going to explore the basics of Adobe XD. So as you first start the software, it's going to appear this window and um, as you can see you're having uh, some options over here. Uh, on the top left uh, you can see this big area uh, which uh, shows you a couple of different uh, sizes of uh, canvases on which you can start. So if you're starting a project for an iPhone, an iPad, uh, maybe a web or you want a custom size with uh, custom width, you can uh, do so uh, right here. And um, you also have uh, on the right uh, a selection of your recent files. And um, I guess that if you don't have any recent file, this will be empty. Um, at the very bottom, you also have the ability to open a file from uh, your uh, hard drive. So that's uh, pretty useful. And um, yeah, you're also having some uh, basic uh, options uh, over here, some references to UIKit and other external resources and the tutorials which uh, can help you um, navigate through the software. So in this example, we're going to select this iPad. And uh, as you can see at the very uh, bottom, it's going to um, open up a, a screen. And uh, in this screen, we're having an iPad artboard. And uh, if we click on it, you can see that the uh, borders are selected and that you're selecting the entire artboard. And uh, on the right, uh, we're having the basic uh, uh, options to modify um, the appearance and the um, general feeling of uh, this uh, element. So right here, we're having the width and uh, the height. And uh, we can see that if we um, drag this, um, you can see that the width is going to uh, update accordingly. So one thing that we can do is uh, we can actually double click on this uh, section and we can enter a custom value and just press enter and it's going to be uh, updated automatically. And uh, we can do the same for the height. So if, for example, we put 500 pixels, uh, the height is going to be exactly 500 pixels. Um, one uh, thing that is uh, interesting about this uh, um, sizing options is the fact that you can lock the aspect. So if we, if we lock it and uh, we try to resize, uh, we can see that the ratio is going to be exactly the same. And uh, this can be very useful in some situations. And uh, I'm also going to show you without the lock, um, you can uh, see that now the ratios are uh, um, variable now. So you can uh, change them and it won't maintain the same ratio. On the right, uh, we can also see the scrolling option, uh, which uh, we're going to explore in uh, a further video. And uh, we also have the appearance. So in this case, we selected uh, um, by default a fill, which is white. However, if we click on it, we can uh, change the color directly from here. So you can either uh, change the color with this uh, visual uh, color editor, or you can uh, uh, insert and input uh, a specific color if uh, you know exactly what you want and uh, there's also different options for RGB uh, and uh, HSB. So this is uh, uh, the basic for the artboard and uh, we're gonna make it white again. And uh, you also have a dropdown, uh, a big color, sorry, uh, which allows you to uh, select a color from uh, the canvas or even the um, the, the things around you. So you can simply select it and uh, it's going to pick it automatically. And uh, this is the basic of the right panel. And uh, on the left, uh, we having the basic options. So the first option, which is uh, uh, selected on the very left, uh, it's uh, the um, basically select cursor. And uh, this uh, allows you to select uh, the uh, objects or artboards 
and uh, on the right on the left uh, just below these this uh, cursor icon we also find the rectangle and uh, if we click on it and we go back to the artboard we can see that by uh, clicking and uh, selecting uh, you can actually create uh, a rectangle uh, directly from here and if you want to go back to the previous tool we can see that now we can select it and move it around and also change the shape of uh, this rectangle below that we have in the ellipse tool and um, if we click shift uh, you can see that it's going to be um, a, re a regular so it, the width and the height is going to be exactly the same uh, we also have the line tool so this can be used to create lines and uh, the classic uh, pen tool with which we can create uh, uh, different curves and uh, different lines if you want to uh, go or um, escape the, the pen tool you can just uh, click on the ask and uh, it's going to go, go away uh, another tool that we find here is the text tool in which we can uh, create uh, text and uh, as you can see uh, you can uh, edit the all the um, elements directly from the right so you can change the font uh, from here and uh, you can change the size of this and uh, also the alignment and uh, uh, other uh, values such as the uh, distance the letter spacing and uh, also this uh, will allow you to tweak the height uh, of the lines uh, in uh, paragraphs and uh, yeah this is uh, this is the basic of the text tool and uh, if we go one, la one uh, uh, layer down we can also see the artboard and um, the artboard is pretty simple you simply click and drag just like a rectangle but instead of creating a rectangle this is going to be an artboard and uh, if you want to zoom in we can use the other tool which is uh, the uh, zoom tool so if we uh, select the area that we want to zoom in and we release we can see that uh, it's going to be zoomed in and uh, this is the basic of this uh, uh, left menu we also have the artboards on the uh, right of the very left tool menu and uh, as you can see since we just created another artboard um, the artboard has uh, appeared in uh, this uh, uh, section over here and uh, if you create another one again you can see that it's going to be updated so we have in total three art artboards and uh, we can also select them and uh, we can select the order we can move the order around and uh, usually the uh, object or artboard which uh, is going to be on the top um, is going to also look uh, uh, on the top in the actual um, in the actual canvas so let's let's do an example of this um, I just duplicated the rectangle by just clicking on it and uh, while um, clicking on alt and uh, let's make another let's assign it another fill so in this case we can see that the rectangle 2 is on top of rectangle 1 which is this one so you can see that the hier hierarchy it's uh, uh, based on the uh, order by which uh, it's located over here and if we move it uh, down it's going to be uh, inverted so uh, just keep in mind this uh, layering system which is pretty common across all other graphic software such as Photoshop or Sketch but um, yeah this is pretty much it for uh, this uh, initial tutorial uh, it was just like a quick tutorial just to get our feet wet but uh, there's many more to come so stay tuned and uh, I'll speak to you in the next video